Yes, yeah, these eyes of everyone. So beautiful. I think she you knows you need it. She's very therapeutic. She knows who needs. Who needs love. There are some programs in the uh, hospital. Yeah. Uh, old old people home or children home. Children home or sick children. They bring dogs there to love them. And whenever the dogs put their paws and they're licking them, they feel much better afterwards. They feel loved, you know. Animals love unconditionally. Yeah. This human might never see you again, but she just gives you everything. <laughs> the whole thing. When the dog licks you, he loves you. Abby, what are you doing there? No kaku, okay? <laughs> One weakness is she loves kaku. Kaku is any living lizard that run around. I name them kaku. There's so many names, I don't know what they call them. <laughs> kaku. Kaku family, you know, all the lizards and the bugs that crawl around. She loves them. And they love to offer their life to her. <laughs> She don't chase them, nothing. She just go nearby, put a pole on there, pop, and it oh. runs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one time I took her out. I just turned my eyes for one second. She put her paw on, and then that one jumped right in there. <laughs> she didn't even chase them or do nothing. She just put a paw on it, and it jumped. <laughs> she, and when I saw it, the tail was wagging. Oh, no. I said, you spit it out right now. <laughs> He's still alive and run. Oh my God! Now she she doesn't like kaku so much. But when she first came, I guess you know, malnutrition or something, chasing kaku. Now she she eat too much. Don't eat no more. Even picky what food she eats now. When she first came, she eats like, you know, beggars. And now she oh look no no not that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, lucky, you know, the other guy, he eats, he eats anything that I give and eat a lot. So he eat only twice a day because he eats a lot, dog food, human food, whatever you give in front of him, he eats. Except when I left him outside, him outside alone, he's lonely, he don't eat. Go on a strike just for bargaining. But this guy, this girl, now she's picky. She eats a little bit and wait for goodies, you know. <laughs> yeah. I don't just eat normal food. Dog food she didn't like. Human food, okay. <laughs> She's very, very, uh, how you say, telepathic. Yes. Just now I tell her to come, she don't come, but she knows it. Just, just today is, is her day and she don't care. <laughs> but normally I don't have to tell her what to do. Just in here she got it right away. Yes. I'll tell her she understands also, of course, but I don't even need that. She take care of all the dogs, make sure they are in order. She's a hoofah in the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyone more unruly and, you know, bad, she tame them down. Mm -hmm. Like the puro, he has a bad habit, you know, finding a secret corner, deposit his own stuff. <laughs> <laughs> she saw him, she go right away, Chuck, get out! <laughs> you know, she heard them outside. <laughs> and then I know it, and then I take care. And uh, the, new, the new dog, Rottweiler, famous for being a bad boy, the whole race of Rottweiler. She took care of him. <laughs> that guy just, oh, <laughs> so scared. <laughs> there was a dog, where I lived before, there was a dog who is very fierce. The small one, very little, Laza Apso. They weighed about, the most would be like 10 pounds. The most, it's very small. <laughs> Happy, no kissing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> she just loves the people, yes. So happy, happy to see me. And since then, she loves everybody, huh? Don't you? She's so pretty, huh? Yes. Beautiful dog. Very clean. Like a designer, you see? Even her butt, they look like both sides are designer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> her, her name is Happy, but Alia, Elias, designer butt. <laughs> Elias Picky. <laughs> yeah, she's so happy, happy with everyone. Every day is the best day of her life. Everyone is the best person in the whole world. Every kaku is the best food. 
She loves to be fed, you know. Yeah, it's okay. Well, never mind. Never mind. Good girl, sometimes. But she's very excited. So it's, I tell her we're going to see people, and she starts oh, getting so all excited. <laughs> she loves people. <laughs> Take one at a time, better. But the other poodle has no problem. But he's unkempt right now. Cause we we're in new place here. We don't know which is the the best hairdresser. The the worst the normal hairdresser they mess him up you know, right now he cut him one one side short one the side long and he looks so messy so I don't want to present him to you. We had a best dresser you know very famous and he makes it so beautiful beautiful but we don't have time right now all of us are busy and I haven't found a good one yet. Last time we we bring it to a shop nearby, and he make a mess my God he he shaved all his head. And then put a little bear out there, you know, like a goat. And it looks so ugly. And you know, one side here short, one side here long, and it's not even and bad looking. Otherwise, he's very handsome after he. But you have to go to the the good hairdresser, expensive one, the one. Ah, well, you don't know how. You have to know it. <laughs> I don't want to risk it. <laughs> the professional already make a mess like that. Can you imagine how I would do it? <laughs> Oh, I could if I have a uh, time, you know, but I have so too many dogs. We just go to hairdresser. So he comes down now. She comes down now. Just, just the first instant. That's it. Happy? Mm -hmm. Are you okay, darling? Yes, you are good. You're a good girl. Mm -hmm. They know that. See the the, the, the butt <laughs> and the cute tail. <laughs> Because she, she's a mixture of, I think, Shiba Inu and Kanan uh, and uh, for Terrier. So that's why everything is so special, <laughs> so pretty, so brilliant, very intelligent. Yes, very intelligent. I don't need to train her much. She, she's perfect. If something she does is wrong, you say her no, that's it, it's no. Yeah, but the other guys, oh my God. They have to experiment everything until they get badly hurt or something. Then, <laughs> and they say, "Okay, okay, mummy is right." <laughs> now I know. Now I think she is very, very disciplined. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, you had enough, girl? I think hanging tongue out is very embarrassing. Come here, shut your mouth. <laughs> She's hot because she's too excited. Uh, where were we? Where were we? Huh? Oh yeah, the program. Yeah, sometimes the dog, the dogs, especially dogs and cat, they know exactly what's going on, you know. So they came and just uh, touched those people who need. And sometimes, a lot of time they schedule like once a week for dogs, a trained dog, you know, already trained, like not too unruly and all that. Mm. And they just come to the hospital visit the old people or the children, or the terminally ill people, and they make them feel great. They love it so much. They keep asking for more, you know. And because dogs, they, they have this, they have it, you know. They can communicate love without having to say anything or do anything. And we say a whole day long, I love you, still nobody believe it. <laughs> Maybe we don't say, we don't mean what we say, yeah? <laughs> hey, hey. Don't show too much of your dog size around here, okay? I'm ad advertising so good about you. <laughs> okay, take her in. She just hang around. Ah, <laughs> uh, where else? Mm. Don't look at the outside. She's really terrific. No. Of course, you have to get to know a dog too, you know. They are also dogs, you see? Don't, don't take my words that they're all sane or <laughs> holy or whatever. They also their dog. They also have their dog side. Dogs do what dogs do, huh? And we humans do what we humans do. But beside that, beside that, they're excellent. They're terrific inside. And most people cannot know that. Cannot know the inside of a dog because they don't talk. And even we cannot understand each other as human. So it's very difficult for human to understand inside dog. That's why, after a while, they say this dog is no good, and they throw him out, and the pounds full of dogs ready to die. If people don't adopt them, adopt them after a while, you know, I told you yesterday, one day to one week, they kill them. Yes. 
Uh, because people don't take time. You know, they just want acute things, but they don't understand it's a living thing. Yeah, and after a while, you know, dogs, they mess up. <laughs> you don't train them well, they mess up. Then they get fed up, you know, they chew furniture and everything. Most people don't even know dogs need toys and need company and need time to play with the owner, not just food and not in the house. Even the guard dog, they need affection, just like everyone else. Especially when we take a dog or a cat in alone, you know, and they take you for a partner, yes, or family member. Sometimes they even fall in love with you. Sometimes, yes. And they're very, very attached to you. So if you are the only one that is his partner and you don't take care for his emotional need, then of course he go destructive or depressed huh? and go very undisciplined. And then they blame the dog for being bad. How can a dog be good if being tied up all day long in the, in the neck and just hang around in the sun? Couldn't go nowhere, couldn't do anything. Don't have company, don't have love, just food. Even we don't live just for food, right? And we know many things to do. We can do everything we want. We can have a lot of choices to uh, diffuse our depression or loneliness. Even then we are complaining that we're lonely, we're isolated and all that. We have so many choices. We could pick up many activities that we want. Dog cannot. If you tie him up in a tree, what is he going to do? Are you cage him all day long until you come home at night, or you just lock him up in the house eight, ten hours a day, and come home, give him a little food, pat pat in the head, you good boy, let's say good night. <laughs> you understand what I mean? So a lot of people just take dog or cat in, and they think it's like a toy. They call them pet or toy, but they're not. They are wonderful beings. They have so much gift that we don't have. But people don't realize that and treat animals really badly. It's like the poodle, you know, until all the teeth is gone, look like a bad car and then throw away, ready to die. Hmm. Are any of you going home? Not yet? Yeah. Today? Afternoon? Uh, okay. Well, because I'm going to bring Lucky afterward if you want to see him. He's a cool guy. Yeah. But I thought one at a time, you know. <laughs> huh? So it lasts longer. What? A uh, special story, but he's look not too cute right now. He's bare growing leaves and ah. I was thinking if we could find a good shop, you know, make him pretty like the way he should look, then I could introduce to you, but we don't have a lot of time for that. Where is uh yeah, go get him. Go bring Lucky here. <laughs> He's not good looking, but still he looked better than when he was the day I met him. At least he's cream white now, he's not gray, black, black gray, yes. He's a well-behaved guy. He's good, good, good. He eat his two square meals and he don't disturb nobody. He likes to sit in the corner, meditate on whatever bone that he can think of. <laughs> yeah, there's the one play football. He love, he's, his life very simple. Just you give him a ball and a snake to lick around, that's it. A, a toy snake, which he loves, that's it. He don't demand much. Two square meals a day, dog food, human food, don't care. He don't even care about snacks unless I give him by hand. Then he eat because I give him. He don't like meat diet. You give meat in front of him, he smells, he goes. Wow. Except those, that day when I tell him, I am responsible, don't worry, please eat it, so that you can go home. Yeah, because you're sick if you don't eat, the doctor thinks you're ill. Remember? He eat right away. And then when the doctor come, the nurse give him one more he didn't eat, remember? He wait until the doctor come and eat it. So the doctor see too. So the nurse saw it, the doctor saw it, and then he's free. And then, then he go and give the, <laughs> give the RV paw, ah, take it away. <laughs> yeah, and after that he lick lick the doctor and uh, turn his butt and then come to me and goodbye. <laughs> He knows, my God, you'll be shocked to know what animals know. Yes, they know more than we know because they know telepathically also. But we just look at him as dog. Of course, he has his character too. Sometimes you keep telling him nonsense thing, he don't listen. And like I has a guy who 
uh, an attendant always always keep the dog. Come here, come here, come here. After a while, he don't come no more. I said, what, what for? I, I'm just uh, hanging around, you know, <laughs> having a good time. You know, I'm not going anywhere. Why you keep calling me? Coming, coming. <laughs> The, the guy is afraid the dog run away, so he keeps come, come here next to him. But he, after a while, he fed up. He don't come. He just, you know, go a little around around it. Yes, <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Hello, baby. Hello, lucky. Oh. Come here. Oh. Many people they don't keep dog in a healthy environment. Some dogs are tough; they can bear it. Yeah? Some dogs are sensitive, and they don't keep them well, so they get sick all the time. And once the dog gets sick and they don't know what to do, they just throw them out to die. That's what it is. Very irresponsible. So I just want you to know: if you have dog, you have to treat him just like yourself, at least hygienically, food, love. Like a member of family, just different looking. Okay. Every time we take them out to relieve themselves on the grass, we pick up, you know, the deposit, or we have a plastic ready, you know, to catch it, so it doesn't spread any dirt or disease, filth on other people and other dog. If your dog is sick and he relieve himself, you know, he pee and poo everywhere, and other dogs step on it, that other dog gets sick too. And also, every time we bring him out for relieving, we bring him in, we clean him, the whole body. i show you how. For example, you get a toy, uh, kitchen tower, or just any tower, you know. This one is too, too small, but just for demonstration. Kitchen tower is more tough, it doesn't go away, it doesn't tear, you see? So you have to clean everything. Yeah. Because he might smell and sniff things, clean the whole body, yeah? The whole body up and down and everything, <laughs> and clean his pee and poo, clean his leg, 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 everything, yeah, so yeah, and then this paw, so so <laughs> and then for four paw and the pee and the poo, you know, and then he can come in the house, so that whatever disease or bacteria he accumulated has been uh, desanitized, you know. This is lemon water. I use it, but you have many other things. Use lemon water or vinegar water to clean the house so it doesn't have chemicals. Because they sleep on the floor, they lick the floor, they eat, they drop the food. If they eat something that you clean with chemical, they die uh -huh. or they get sick. And then you spend either the whole money, the whole time for doctor bill, or you throw them out. This is a problem with a lot of people. They punish the dog for their own stupidity and carelessness and love, lovelessness. You understand this? Yeah. So many dogs end up in there are not their fault at all. 